friends and welcome back to my studio. Thank you so much for being here. In today's episode, we are going to be talking all about how I created this canvas, from how I did my gradients to how I blocked off the edges to create this really cool three-dimensional effect. So let's get to painting. If you have any questions, pop them in the comment section below and I'm always happy to help you guys out. Okay, so first things first, I like to do my top and my bottom color with individual brushes. So I'm going to brush these out and then I'm going to put down the rest of my colors and start using my big brush, okay? I just wanted to talk a little bit about my method here. I really like using a cheap, soft brush. Um, and it's, it is really important to get a nice soft brush. I find that that is what will allow things to lay out a lot smoother. And it's also really important to take the time to smooth this out. You'll see me going over each color quite a few times because it is important to have that smoothness. If you don't get that smoothness and leave these kind of like ridge lines where the brush was, it's not going to make for a very good result at the end. And to me, if I'm taking this much time to do a canvas, prep a canvas, then I want a really beautiful result at the end. The other thing you're going to see me using here a lot is a mister bottle. And this is a really, really fine mist bottle. And what it does is it does a couple of things. It, first off, gives me more working time. Uh, because then my acrylics aren't drying out. And acrylics straight out of the tube do tend to dry out fairly quickly. So we want to make sure that we give ourselves a little more working time. The other thing is it allows, along with working time, is it leaves a wet edge. And that is going to be what allows really nice blending also. So I highly recommend getting one of these mist bottles and I will put a link for that in the description below. The other thing I wanted to point out here, because I think it's a little hard to see in the video with it sped up, is I'm taking my brush and moving it up and down about an inch or so with every stroke so that I'm not going over the exact same place over and over. And this is what's going to help a lot with the blending. Here I'm picking up my dry brushes and I always have several of these on hand to blend. And what I'm doing is a getting rid of a little excess paint. I did put a little too much on the canvas to start with here, so I need to get some of that off. But this is also going to help blend a little bit better. Now, for this first coat, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. I do want it to be very smooth as far as the texture goes, but I'm going to do more blending on the second go around. Because some of these plants are very transparent, I can't do this in one coat. So I get it as good as I can first coat, make sure everything's nice and smooth so there's no lumps or bumps or anything like that. I let it dry and then I come through with a second coat. About to leave, already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for.
That classic cliche, we're on the run. This is what we waited for. Oh, yeah. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Sadly, I lost the footage of me taping off the frame, but I think you can still see what's going on here. So the green center square or rectangle is what is being kept as the gradient. And around the edges is where I'm gonna paint. And you can see the blue tape. That's where I've kind of ripped nice ragged pieces to create an uneven outline frame. So obviously where the blue tape is, is where paint isn't going to show through. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking a little bit of gel gloss medium and I am sealing the edge of the tape. And this is gonna help give nice crisp lines. And what you probably can kind of see me doing is I actually like to take the gel gloss medium and kind of push it into the tape a little bit and then smooth out over top of that. Now you don't wanna leave this lumpy because if you do, it will dry with lumps. Um, it'll hold whatever texture you leave. So make sure you take time to get it nice and smoothed out after you put it down. And then what I'm doing here is I'm first putting a layer of a neutral gray paint down. I, this is Liquitex brand. And what I'm doing is I'm just building up opacity because the silver paint I'm using is very transparent. So I'm putting a layer of this gray paint down first, and then I'm gonna put a couple of layers of the silver on after that. And just make sure you let it dry really well in between each coat. And what I do to help speed that process up is I actually use a hair dryer and that will help things proceed along rather rapidly. And just like with the other layers, really take the time here to make sure the paint goes down nice and smooth, that you're not leaving it uh, with ridges or lumps and bumps. You want this to be a really nice finished look at the end. And I think you can see here as I'm removing the tape how worth it it was to spend the little bit of extra time to make sure that all of my paint edges, painter's tape edges, were sealed off correctly and that I did do two coats of everything so that I've got nice opacity. I'm not seeing the canvas through this. All those little extra steps really add up in the end for a beautiful finish and I I'm really loving doing this style of the ombre background or the gradient background with a broken frame around it. It gives a really interesting three-dimensional sort of aspect to the painting when you're finished. 
If you have any questions, please do put them in the comment section below. I do try to get back to them all. I can't always get back to them all right away, but I do try to respond to everything. So leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and I hope you have a beautiful day. Just tell me your life you have to. I just want to pretend that you're mine for the last time. Is that all right? Just tell me your life you have to. I just want to Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on if you'd like to see what I do with this gorgeous canvas. Yeah.